What's going on to to my favorite place to be? Hey, how y'all doing out there? Uh, hope y'all finding y'all in a, I hope this message finds you in the best of spirits and comfortable. <laughs> it's hot out there. I just got through doing my little walk, a little mess, doing a little uh what they call that? Landscaping. Landscaping. Around the house and stuff, trimming up, get the house looking it's nice. Um, and it was hot. <laughs> Drink water out there though. Um, just wanna talk, man, you know, come with some divine energy, some supreme knowledge that came upon me. Um, if y'all notice, I ain't coming on every day like I used to back in those videos. I, I, I had to slow down and uh Allowing things to download to me and not just talk off the whim, you know what I'm saying? Just notice that I got little ears and stuff, so this is a great time. Um, what I want to talk about today is there was a, uh, been kind of a mom's universe with her nurses and stuff like that. So um, one asked me why in the black culture. Um, we're so heavily on identifying ourselves as gods and goddesses. And uh, I was like, oh, okay, it's unique. Um, shout out to people like uh, Master P and Steve Harvey, who help explain things to on their platforms. And I listen to um, not in some of my music. I was going at our young folks about wearing chains and and and. and gold and all that stuff, you know, being heavy on that and uh, influencing on that and stuff. And I, I would hope they understand. That was just to get their attention to understand. I love looking at y'all. Chains, jewelry, Gucci, uh, suits and Versace and all that stuff. Y'all look beautiful. So for me to sit there and say, oh, no, 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 that's not what I'm coming at. I'm coming at the mentality of what you looking beautiful can is it possible that we can bring a message where that these young people that want to be you look like you emulate you um a positive message do it always have to be about the b word um the h word the money the jewelry the shoot them up the the party in the club um a lot of these young folks you know college kids um children out here young folks innovators and stuff like that and then we complain about our forefathers not having this and having that and being able to do this and do it, do that. And now we have the opportunity. We own almost the airways and the, everything you look around is hip hop. So when we have this opportunity in my eyes to change the dynamics and not complain about what we don't have and, and, and voice our understanding of this is what you have and this is what, um, the condition we in and we can bring ourselves out of this condition because I came from where you come from man grind get it you know nobody somebody I think one of the most disheartening things to hear is and it's not no shot at that young man because he was honest I'm thankful for him being I watched a uh, little baby I think it is right say man about taxes man thank God I saved my money because I really didn't know about taxes and nobody was talking about and telling me about that stuff so then when the tax people came at me Luckily, I, I save money anyway. That's what I do. I don't go out there and just spend my money. And that's kudos to that young man. And I was able to pay it. But then I had but I had to learn about, see what I'm saying? So these are things that I would, you got the platform, the the great ones, Gucci Man, Little Dirk, all, you know, all you great ones out there, Uzi. You got the platform to open your people's eyes. Hey, man, yeah, the guap good up here, bro. But, man, make sure you got an agent and one you can trust, or this, that, open this kind of trust funds, this, or open businesses, or that, but, you know what I mean? And I understand it. It's almost like conscious rapping, but, you know, to a person like myself, I feel everybody, everybody that rock this suit like this should have that in their rap right now because what we've been doing for so long, you know what I'm saying? Rapping about this, that, uh, you know, your granddaddy, your great granddaddy rapped about the same thing. You know what I'm saying? It was just a box Cadillac or a box Impala. Or, you, you get what I'm saying? So 
when do we invest into who we are? So that that comes down to the young lady saying, asking, why do you do it? Um, shout out to somebody who I listened to in the early stages of YouTube, uh, MREC, and Amina, I think it is. And Amina put it somewhere. She, um, I believe she, the 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 widow of uh, Old Dirty Bastard, I wish I had his full name, his uh, actual name, but ODB, she credited him for, you know, she would always say, shout out to the God, you know, the God rest in peace and power, rest in power. The God taught me this, did it, did it. And he would call her the goddess. See, we equate this to because it's just my theory, my opinion, my supreme understanding. You are a God and goddess within the understanding that you're not the creator. You create, you can create, right? You've been, cre you give, you've been, you've been given the tools to create on a certain level. But I equate it to what harm is it, like P said, with the young people, because he was basically talking to people like the conscious people community who gets on these young people about thriving and shining and stuff like that. What's wrong with it, though? And there's nothing. There's nothing. Because that, too, whether they have a consciousness on themselves about what they're doing, it's still an influencer for our children because they're not in the videos shooting and toting guns and all that stuff. They just shine. So it's showing our young influence, our, our young people, hey, get up here, man. You know what I'm saying? Grind hard and stuff like that. And at times, they know the background of, of a lot of these rappers and see uh, Meek Mills or Rick Ross and where they came from, all these great people, where they came from, Snoop, all of them. When they look in the background, like, man, he came from where I came from. He was doing what, you know, he had to get it the hard way I got it. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's an interesting dynamic that we're playing with, but I would just appreciate more of it because I love our music. <laughs> We got to understand that whatever we do and sing, whether we got B, boo, woo, saying all kinds of bad words and stuff, I thrive, I roll with them, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm one that can tune that out and I'm, you know, a like mature audience. But that's what I shoot to our, our, our brothers and sisters out there. We don't, you thinking that, you know, you getting that money, that go out, that hit, that sort of, uh, but the audience you have also is the young babies that's coming up and listening to you quick, honestly. They love you, you know what I'm saying? So the message that we bring in there, man, if it can be, uh, you know, with a, a sprinkle of something to help help the, the, the community grow and, and write, man, we, we win it, you know what I'm saying? Um, can me, relating to the women in our in this world as goddesses, can that help the situation or does that hinder what we go through in our daily journey? I say that because if I look at my wife as a goddess, if you look at your husband as a god, will you abuse him? Will you do, will we do something, if we look at each other as on that level as we do our almighty on Sunday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, whichever day you worship your almighty, uh, your God, you know, heavenly, you know, because it's crazy how we got that one day that we go real hard, but them, in between them days or the other days we lack. But if I look at you daily as a God and a goddess, then how how will I interact with you? How will I communicate with you? And of course, we're talking, we're not talking to the average because there's people who don't believe in God. There's atheists and stuff like that because they're different views. But if I take the approach, same approach that I approach my, my almighty with, with that, I'm not, I don't be like, and I'm just going to use, for example, I'm be like, God, cussing at it. And, but, I don't, I don't talk to God like that. So if I take that same philosophy and ideas and with my relationships and who I, how I treat people as your God on this earth, you too can create, all right? Generate, operate, destroy. You have, we have that ability, all right? And then if I take that philosophy with me and, 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 and put it in each dynamic, then how am I treating people? It's a no brain, all right? So that's just a little nugget that I check, that I was, had on me. Um, it would help us to be obedient this, it would help us to be loyal to each other. It would help us to be, we'd sacrifice, you know, uh, you stop down to cheating and stuff like that. Just all kinds of things that we know we're doing on our relationship because 
you know, you you say we wouldn't do that to God. We've got ten commandments, right? <laughs> but we though we know where there's more commandments, but you know, when it was all said and done, the ten that the ten that popped out of us, right? So that's just my third. All right. I'll be coming back with some more. Um be good to yourself today. Look out for the elderly, man. Real talk. Look out for the elderly. Uh, they've been able to see that, man, they got, they're got having a tough in this heat. They're having a tough period in this economy. So um, you're somebody that, you know, you have that ability to go outside yourself and help somebody else and, um, you know, have nothing to donate or give to anybody or in your own lane, man, go go to an early home or find someone walking the dang streets, chief, trying to, I don't know, man. Is he doing a lot to us? But just look out for him, you know, drink water and stuff like that. Appreciate y'all. Love y'all for coming, stopping by, man. All you goddesses keep doing what y'all doing. Y'all looking good out there. And you already know, if you ain't being good to yourself, eee, you wrong. Keep being good, somebody. I know y'all out there, um, Trying to meet and continue meeting somebody outside your race, outside your, you know what I'm saying? Keep going at it. Link up with your tribe, too. Link up, keep team with your tribe. Keep your love on. Let's get this love train going. Keep going. When you know better, do better.